Okay. So, friction. What is friction, na? Friction is a resistance to motion or the tendency on motion. Okay? Ibig sabihin, if you have a body uh, that will tend to move this direction, let's say, uh, to the right, then the friction should be opposite, no? Opposite to the motion. Alright? Kasi nga, that is a resistance to motion. And yung uh, friction natin is, is a passive force, no? Uh, magkakaroon lang ng friction if... Um, a body is pushed, no? Uh, basically, if a body will be in motion, magkakaroon ng friction. Ano? Hindi necessary din na magkakaroon ng motion, but if a body is acted by an out outside force, magkakaroon tayo ng friction. Okay? So, we have actually two kinds of friction. We have the dry friction and we have the uh, fluid friction. So, dito sa statics of rigid bodies, uh, we'll be just discussing or focusing sa dry friction. Yung fluid friction is all about the viscosity of a liquid uh, between two objects. No? Kasi yung liquid natin, if you try to uh, analyze no? yung mga liquid, depende yung viscosity, yung malagkit, may friction dyan sa other kind of liquid other than water. Okay? But dito, again, we'll be just uh, focusing on dry friction. So, sa dry friction, we have uh, the static case. Uh, ibig sabihin, hindi ka galaw. Alright? And we have also the dynamic case. Okay? Now, sa static case, um, proposed by Colum, the Colum's law, sinabi niya that the friction the friction on the plane must must not exceed us times the normal force on the plane okay ibig sabihin um, this mu s times n is actually the maximum available friction between two contact contacting surfaces okay that mu s is a constant of uh, experimental constant of coefficient of friction static friction no experimental yan na kukuha nila between two uh, body. For example, a tire and uh, the road pavement. No? May experimental uh, value tayo ng mu s dyan. Okay? Then, um, we have the tangent of T is equals to mu s, the static friction. Uh, this tangent, uh, this, this T is actually the uh, the angle between the normal force and the resulting friction. I mean, the resultant reaction at the plane. Okay, later on, magkikita natin saan to magkikita yung angle phi. Now, sa dynamic case naman, sa, from the word dynamic, means gagalaw na siya. No? Ibig sabihin dyan that the force that tend to move the body uh, is greater than the maximum available friction in static case. Okay? Kung baga, lumagpas na yung maximum force niya na magpapagalaw sa isang object sa maximum available friction, which is mu s times the normal force. So, dito, ang gagawin natin friction is the uh, magbabago na yung coefficient natin magiging mu k or the kinetic coefficient of friction. Andito yan, no? coefficient of kinetic friction. In this case, gagalaw na yung object mo. Hindi na kaya ng maximum available friction. Okay? This is when the static case is not satisfied. Ito siya. Okay? Uh, if the frictional resistance force uh, US, the coefficient of static friction, again, they are experimental. Mu K is the coefficient of kinetic friction. Uh, N is the normal force and V the angle of friction measured from the normal force. So remember this uh, definition, measured from the normal force. Okay, so better to have an example. I hope uh, you watch already the uh, explanation of Engineer Gilisanya no? sa friction. Uh, I posted the uh, links part 1, part 1, 3 and this discussion is my similarity lang doon. Okay? Just the principle.
Okay. So, a hundred kilogram block rest in a uh, rest is placed. Ano? A hundred kilogram block is placed in an inclined plane. Uh, and the rest, the word rest should not be there. No? Tagalin natin siya. Uh, this portion. Is placed. A hundred kilogram block is placed in an inclined plane. Plane as shown. The theta. Okay. Yung theta down natin dyan. Is 10.5 degrees. This one. Straight natin. Ten point five degrees. Uh, given dito yung ating coefficient of friction for static case and dynamic case. Alright? So, uh, letter A, compute the frictional resistance. For part B, compute the total reaction at the surface. Okay? So, of course, first of all, uh, we need to expose the forces involved dito, no? Uh, basically, this is the free body diagram yung una natin gagawin. So we have the weight na uh, 100 kilogram. That is the mass. Uh, let's say the weight is here. Of course, the weight is vertically downward. Now, um, kung i-analyze natin, kung ilalagay natin yung box in an inclined plane, the tendency of motion is going in this way. Okay? Yung motion natin should be in this way. Uh, mm -hmm. eh. ah, ito yung motion natin. Tama? So, the frictional force or the frictional resistance should be uh, opposing the motion, no? the tendency of motion. So, by the way, ito yung normal force. We know that uh, in a plane, we have a normal force or basically we have there uh, perpendicular to the plane. So, I just call this one as N sub R. Normal reaction natin. Okay, because if N lang, uh, that will be the unit newtons. Na? Para lang ma-designate natin na that is a reaction. Normal reaction. Then, our um, frictional resistance should oppose the motion. So, baliktad towards this direction. Okay? So, importante yung free body diagram natin na ma-designate natin ano yung direction ng frictional resistance. Okay? Because if mali yan, then mali, mali yung lalabas na sagot natin. Okay? So, first, basta friction problem, you need to identify what is the direction of motion. Okay? Uh. All right. Okay. Now, um, uh, maganda dito is yung x and y axis natin or vertical and horizontal axis i-along natin sa plane na ito, no? So, gawin natin ganito yung ating x and y axis. Alright? Para mas ma... Oh, dito? Para mas madali siyang i-analyze, no? So, basically, uh, this way, pwede natin siyang i-resolve into components. Yan. Tawagin ko itong WT that's along the uh, inclined x axis, okay, and I will call this one as WN or the normal weight uh, along the inclined Y axis, okay now if this is theta, ito yung theta natin dyan, theta is 10.5 degrees okay, now first, um, i-check natin yung maximum available friction, i-check natin si maximum available friction right 
So I just gonna have our solution here. Check for the maximum. Maximum available friction. Ito yung pinipost ni uh, column, no? The column's law. That's the US. Um, US times the normal reaction. Ito yung formula natin. Okay? So, that's the formula. So, basically, kung uh, isasolve natin to needed natin si normal reaction. Okay? So, we can solve the normal reaction by equilibrium equation. Uh, let's say the summation, summation of force along y, the inclined y equals to zero. Uh, that's positive upwards. Okay? Positive upwards tayo always. So, basically, um, kailangan pa natin si weight pala, no? Yung binigay is 100 kilogram. So, yung weight natin dyan, uh, yung weight is mass times gravity. The mass is 100 kilogram. The gravity is 9.81 meters per second squared. Okay? So, yung lalabas na unit dyan is naka newtons. Now, kailangan natin i-resolve yan, by the way. Resolve that one to um, WT and WN as you can see in the figure. So, just gonna define the value of the theta given as 10.5 degrees. Okay? So, in this case, we can now have the value of W wt obviously that's the w uh, sine of theta okay hindi ko na lang siya i-substitute dito ha madali lang naman ito then kunin natin si wn the normal so yung theta is nasa kay wn so that would be the cosine cosine of theta that one. Okay? So we have this already. We can now solve the NR. So for, for NR or the normal reaction at the plane, so we can now have, uh, obviously, the NR by summation of forces along Y axis, NR is the WN. Okay? NR is the WN. Yan siya. Uh, okay. So NR is the WN. As you can see in the figure. Now, kunin na lang. Uh, okay. So, makukuha na natin dito si maximum available friction. That's uh, the F max is equal to US times the normal reaction. Okay, so by the way, we have our mu S. The mu S here, lalagay ko lang dito yung mu S natin. That's equal to uh, 0 0.4. Okay, so ito yung maximum available friction natin. Okay, now, compute the, the actual required friction. Okay, the actual required friction. So, masusolve natin yan by summation of force, uh, uh, the required friction. You can solve that by summation of force along the x-axis. Equal to zero. Okay, let's say positive. Uh, positive to the right. Alright, so obviously, the the friction there, the required friction is equal to uh, the WT. Okay? The WT. This one. Now, compare the friction. Compare the required friction to the maximum available friction. As you notice there that 
uh, the Coulomb's law is satisfied. The friction or the required friction is lesser. That's lesser than the maximum friction which given us the mu s times n. Okay? Therefore, satisfied siya sa static case. Basically, this will be the answer. Okay? Pag lumagpas yung required friction natin sa maximum available friction, that means gagalaw na siya. So, lumagpas na siya sa maximum available friction. But in this problem, this will be our answer. Uh, for part A. This is uh, part A. Okay? Now, for part B, the total reaction naman. Yung total reaction. Obviously, total reaction here, eto, tinawag ko siyang R, that's F and NR. Okay? F and NR, the square root of F and NR. And actually, that will be equal to the, the weight in this case. Kasi kung titignan natin, summation of forces vertical, weight is equals to R. Okay? Nangyari lang ito kasi in static case tayo. But if merong ibang force uh, dito other than the weight, then they are not equal. Okay? Ito lang kasi walang other force dyan. So, pwede. Kunin natin siya by sa part B. The total reaction. That's R is equals to the square root of uh, the frictional force. Uh, this one. Okay? Uh, so, like na lang as F squared plus the normal reaction squared. Alright? So, you have there that friction here. And ito naman yung normal reaction which is this one. Okay? Uh, obviously, ibabalik na lang yung ating weight. Okay, again nga, because no other forces involved there, just the weight alone and uh, static case yan. Mangyayari lang yan ganyan. Okay, uh, this is for our first example. Okay lang. So, you can take the screenshot. No? Screenshot yung muna, then let's try another example. Okay, how about this one? I'll erase this. Okay, so a hundred kilogram, hundred kilogram block is, uh, is pushed by a force P as shown. Uh, P is a 400 Newton. What is the friction? So, hindi ako nagbigay ng theta dito. I'll just say that the theta is, let's say, 10 degrees. No? Assume na lang natin, theta is 10 degrees. Okay. Assume theta as 10 degrees in this problem. Okay, so the same pa rin, yung weight naman natin, yung weight of the block. Uh, by the way, uh, first of all, we need to uh, have the free body diagram. No? Ito yung weight, vertically downward, then the normal reaction on the plane, and sub R, then sin since the motion, the tendency of motion is going to the right, then, then the frictional force should be opposing the motion. That should be in this way. Okay? So that would be our free body diagram. Now, um, the weight is equals to 100 kilograms. The same pa rin kanina. Multiply by the gravitational acceleration, 9.81 meter per second squared. Then the unit for that is in newtons. Okay? Now, again, uh, we need to check the maximum available friction. The maximum available mm -hmm.
So again, given yung maximum available friction natin by this formula, mu s times the normal reaction at the plate. Okay? So basically, again, needed natin si n sub r. Now, uh, to calculate n sub r, uh, we need to uh, have the components of this p. No? By ito yung py natin, ito naman yung px. Okay? So... Uh, maybe, I'll just define the value of P dito, ha? Lagyan ko lang ng P dito. That's 400 newtons. Okay? Okay lang? No. Um, para mas bilis, hindi ko na lang siya i- uh, substitute yung mga values natin dyan, no? I'll just define kasi naka-mathcad software naman ako. Yung Px natin dyan, that's equal, hmm? yung Px is equals to P cosine of eta. Okay, Px is P cosine of eta, and that is the value. And yung Py, that's P sine of eta. Okay? Okay lang. Hindi ko siya i-substitute uh, yung values. Naka-define sa dyan, no? Matitrace nyo lang yan pag kayo na yung mag-study. Uh, okay? You have the Px, you have the Py. Then, notice there the calculating the NR, that is just by summation of forces vertical. Summation of forces vertical equal to zero. All right? So, that's, uh, obviously, that's NR, okay, minus the weight, minus the PY. Lahat ng vertical forces dyan, then equal to zero. So, NR, the NR is equal to uh, the weight plus PY. Okay? Again, you have the val uh, variables there, no? Naka-define sa dyan. Uh, hindi naman to problema kasi uh, same units naman lahat. Para lang mas mabilis yung discussion natin. Okay? Now, you have the NR. We can now check the maximum available friction. The Fmax is equals to, by the way, um, define currency us given as uh, 0 0.4 and then the mu k the kinetic is equal to 0 0.25 now that's mu s times the normal reaction so ito yung maximum available friction natin okay so, dapat di lumagpas yung required friction natin. Now, let's check the required friction. The required required friction. So, si required friction, we can solve that obviously by summation of forces uh, horizontal. Forces x equal to 0. Okay? Now, as you can see there, by just observation, the friction is equal to the Px. Okay? By observation, this friction is, is equal to our Px. Guess lang. Uh, yung Px natin is here. Uh, this one. Okay? Now, observe the value. The F is lesser than the maximum available friction. Hindi siya lumagpas. That means, uh, F is uh, lesser than the maximum available <laughs> friction, uh, which is the mu s times the N, the normal reaction. That means that ito na yung frictional force natin, na-satisfy natin yung columns law. This will be the answer already. Okay? Ganun lang siya.
Now, what if? Ah, uh, what if? Palakihin natin. Palakihin na natin yung force dyan. Gawin natin 450. Okay? Gawin natin 450. So, the same pa rin ng ating, we call that, uh, the same yung solution natin dito. Okay, by the way, ito siya, pag 400. Yung friction natin, yung sagot natin will be, hmm? pag 400 yung P natin, the friction is this one. Okay? Yes lang. Now, if the force is increased to 450, what will happen? Gawin natin siyang 450. So, madali na lang dito sa case ko. Okay. Check this one. I-change ko lang to, to 450, then same naman ang approach lahat. Magpabago na siya. Okay? Change ko lang siya to 450. Then, of course, ito magbabago. Naging ganyan. Ito. Okay? Same uh, procedure kanina. Now, look at uh, look what will happen. Uh, the frictional, the maximum available friction is 423.657. Okay? Then, the required friction by equilibrium equation is 443. But the F max is 423 lang. So, nagbago na yung inequality natin dito. Naging ganito siya. Mm -hmm. uh, the F, the required friction, is greater now by F max. That is, we calculated that the uh, value is this one. Okay? So, meaning, lumagpas na siya. Not satisfied. This is not satisfied. Ibig sabihin dyan, gagalaw na yung object natin. So, if this happens, remember that uh, we will now use the kinetic friction. Okay? For case, uh, the kinetic friction in dynamic case, uh, this should be in the dynamic case, that, that is when the F is greater Uh, the required friction, I'll just say this is required, friction is now greater than max. Okay? Kung yung required friction natin is now greater than F max, then yung gagamitin natin na frictional force is the kinetic friction na. We'll now use the value of F is equals to the mu K mu K times the normal reaction. Ito na yung gagamitin natin na formula. Kinetic friction. Okay? So, moving na siya. Now, if we try to check, uh, the kinetic friction is now uh, just ano ha? Yan. Ito na yung magiging kinetic friction natin ngayon. Okay? So, this is the actual friction now. Ibig sabihin, yung object natin is moving. Okay? Um, kung makikita nyo, yung Px natin dito is 443. Okay? Na yung frictional resistance in the same direction of the Px is lesser now by the Px. Ibig sabihin dyan, may net force na magpapagalaw na sa object. Okay? So, this will be our answer in this problem. Ito siya. In this problem. Okay? Gets lang ba? Did you get the point? Yeah. So, you can screenshot first. Then, we'll be moving to another example. Alright. Now, Now, what if, um, change natin yung tanong. What if ganito siya? Uh, 
uh, the same 100 kilogram block, the same uh, coefficient of frictions given. Now, yung tanong dito is what is the required force P to impend motion in the block? Walang given na P. Ano da yung required P natin? Na, I uh, will tend the block, uh, will make the block, the block in impending motion. So, at the verge of moving na siya. Okay? At point na mag-move na siya. So, in that case, if you can see the, this one, this portion, impend motion, okay? Now, that's the case na gagamitin natin yung maximum available friction. Alright? So, ibig sabihin, at the very moment na pumatong na siya or kumbaga umabot na siya sa maximum available friction. At that very moment, mag-i-impend na siya to move. So, in this case, si P naman yung unknown, then yung F natin is the maximum available friction. Alright? I hope that is clear. So, our solution to that is, um, I'll just erase this one. Okay? Erase ko lang siya. Okay. Up to this lang. Uh, then, tanggalin ko si P. Kasi, siya naman yung unknown. Okay? Our, tawag dito, yung friction na gagamitin natin. The friction should be the maximum available friction. Now, by the way, um, si maximum, we know that the maximum available friction is expressed to the normal force. Okay? Expressed to the normal force. Now, as you can see that, uh, balik tayo, the summation, the summation of force Y is equals to zero. Okay? Balik tayo, that's NR. Okay? NR, uh, is equals to W plus PY. Tama? W plus <laughs> PY. Okay? So, si NR is expressed to P pa. So, simplifying this further, this will become W plus. Yung PY is P sine of theta. Okay, so si NR is expressed to P. Now, the maximum available friction, which we'll be using, no? uh, the maximum friction, yung gagamitin natin for impending motion. So, that's F is equals to mu S times DNR. Alright? So, this nr is this one w plus p which p is our unknown so unknown siya so, magiging ganito yan our friction is equals to mu s times our nr is this one which p is unknown p is unknown tama okay now balik tayo uh, we already used the summation of forces vertical uh, para naman makagawa tayo ng isang equation, that would be the summation of force along horizontal equal to zero. Okay, so if um, na observe ninyo, no, that the uh, equations of equilibrium is always present sa ating solution. That's the very foundation natin sa uh, engineering, uh, engineering problems and principles. Summation of forces x equals to zero. Notice that that's um, px uh, minus the frictional force equals to zero. And again, this frictional force is this one. Yung px is p cosine of uh, cosine of theta. Okay? The friction is uh, this one equal to zero. Okay. Now, as you can see that the unknown here is the P na lang. P. We have the mu S, we have the weight, we have the theta, of course. So, we can now solve the required P. Ito yung required P natin to impend motion at the merge of moving na siya. Right? So, 
uh, solving for p, ayan, ito yung magiging p natin. Uh, just let the not can do the simplification, no? Para mabilis. Okay? You can do the shift solve dyan, yung tinuro ko sa inyo sa calculator. Then, the value of P needed to move the object is 428.69. Uh, Gets ba? Are you getting the solution? Okay. Uh, uh, there's another solution to this actually, no? Di ba may pinakita ako the, the, the angle phi? Actually, pwede natin itong i-simplify using the using our uh, force triangle. Now, the original forces here is the W, the P, and the, the actual reaction here would be the total reaction between F and R and F. So, may uh, total reaction R tayo dyan. Okay? Now, yung definition ng V, that is the angle from the normal reaction to the total reaction. So, actually, ito yung V nat natin. Okay? And we know that the V is, the tangent of V is equals to mu S. Kanina, no? Sa pinakita ko. So, pwede nating isimplify yung Uh, yung total force dito is just the R, the W, and the P. So, we can also use the force polygon. Okay? Now, look at this one. Um, yung P man yung gusto natin kunin, no? Now, consider the W. That's the vertical force. Consider the R. Consider this R. That one. Okay? And that R is angle phi to the vertical. So, kung titignan natin dito, to the vertical angle phi. This P naman, which is actually our unknown, that's to this direction, and it makes angle theta to the horizontal. So, kung titignan natin dyan, to the horizontal, that's theta. Okay, so to calculate P, unknown yung W natin. Hindi naman pinapahanap si R. So, we have the, we can calculate this. We have the omega, I mean the theta. Uh, need lang natin to calculate these angles between triangles. Okay? Now, if we have these angles there, then we can solve the P by sine law. This is an alternate solution. Okay? So, I'll just move this one. Alternate solution. Okay, so by force triangle, no? Uh, by the way, we have, as I have shown you kanina, the tangent of, the tangent of phi is equals to mu s. Okay, so we can solve the phi. Uh, of course, we have the mu s there. Our phi, uh, phi is equals to the arc tangent of, of mu s. That's 221. Okay? Now, needed natin si um, omega and si alpha. Uh, by the way, we have the theta. Ha? The theta I gave to you is 10 degrees. Okay? So, to solve the alpha, notice that kung titingnan natin the portion here, Okay? This one is the theta. Uh, ito naman, 90 degrees yan. 90 degrees siya dito. So therefore, the, the alpha is theta plus 90 degrees. Okay? Theta plus 90 degrees yung alpha natin. So, tatanggalin ko na lang siya. The alpha is equals to theta plus 90 degrees. That's 100 degrees. Now, the omega, by the principle of interior angle of a, a triangle, the omega should be 180 degrees 
minus the alpha and minus the phi. We have there 58.199 degrees. Now, by sign law, by sign law, we can now have uh, P to the sign of opposite angle of P, which is the angle phi, okay, is equals, yung known natin is w. w is to the sign of its opposite angle, omega. Alright? So, we can now solve the P by uh, by this one. No? The P is now equal to uh, ano yung magiging value ni P? This one. Okay. So, we have that already. That's 428.6889. And that's the same kanina na nasolve natin. Right? The same siya dito. So, this is our alternate solution to this. Okay? So, um, we have last problem. We have our last problem here. Okay. Dito naman, determine the minimum force P to prevent the 80 kilogram ladder from sliding. To prevent the 80 kilogram ladder from sliding. Ito yung P natin. What would be this force P daw to prevent this one from sliding? Okay. So, okay. Ilagay muna natin yung mga uh, forces involved. Of course, we have the value of the weight. The weight will act at the center. Okay, so we'll be assuming that the ladder is prismatic. So, sa gitna yan. Uh, the ladder is 10 meters long. The angle here is 30 degrees. Uh, we have the mu s dito. So, may friction tayo dito. At this vertical plane naman, smooth plane siya. So, the friction in this plane is neglected. Okay, so what is the minimum force P to prevent the... Uh, this ladder from sliding. So, of course, as you can see, the tendency of motion here will be this direction. Maganito yung tendency ng motion natin. Okay? Therefore, the, the frictional force should be opposing that motion. Alright? So, the free body diagram at this uh, point A, we have there the normal reaction at A. I just call this one as N sub A. Then the frictional force reaction should be opposing that motion. Okay, by the way, we have the NB dito, normal to this plane. Then the frictional reaction should oppose the tendency to motion. That's our friction. Okay, sinabi niya kasi to prevent the 80 kilogram ladder from sliding. Pag minago niya yung statement niya, to slide the ladder up. To slide the ladder up. So, the tendency of motion will be going upward. So, mababaliktad yung frictional force natin. But dito, to prevent the 80 kilogram ladder from sliding. So, the tendency of motion is towards the right direction. Okay? So, ito yung pinaka-importante dyan. Uh, identify what's the tendency of motion, the direction of the motion. Para ma-correct mo yung uh, free body diagram of sa friction. Okay, so ano da yung force P natin? So obviously, dito, tend, uh, prevent the 80 kilogram from sliding. So we'll, we'll be using the, the maximum available friction ulit. No? Tendency, uh, kumbaga, um, nasa, nasa point siya na, na uh, ma-prevent ma niya yung motion. No? At the very point, ma-prevent niya yung motion. Magagamitin natin yung maximum available friction ulit. Okay? So, yan. Uh, dito, binigay ko yung mu s. I have here the mu s uh, of 0 0.4. Then the weight of the ladder, we have the ladder, W, 
80 kilograms, then multiply by the gravitational acceleration, meters per second squared. The unit for that is in newtons. Okay? Now, how do you calculate the required P? Now, obviously, kung gagamitin natin yung summation of forces horizontal, okay, again, paulit-ulit natin tong uh, sasabihin, always consider the equilibrium equation. Now, the P, uh, sabihin ko na lang minimum P plus the friction that's going to the right, yung P at friction natin, is equals or minus the normal reaction at B, equal to zero. Okay? Yeah. So, ano yung wala natin dito? We don't have the friction force pa. We don't have the NB. Tama? Okay. Now, um, paano ba ito? Okay. But, if we try to look summation of force y or vertical equals to zero, ano yung forces involved in vertical direction? That's gonna be the NA and the W. No? Therefore, the NA, obviously, that's equal to our W, which is 748.8 newtons. Kasi wala namang friction sa point B. No? So, lahat ng vertical force dyan, or the vertical weight will be carried by the normal reaction at A. Okay? So, dito, we can now solve the friction. Yung friction natin is the maximum available friction. Tama? Okay. So, the 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 friction na gagamitin natin in impending motion, that's the mu s, times the normal reaction. Specifically, na kay point A yung normal reaction natin na gagamitin. Okay? Now, we have the frictional force dito. Uh, actually, pwede natin itong gamitin, but siguro maganda, no? Yung maganda dito, moment tayo at point B. Take moment tayo at point B. Huwag na natin itong gamitin. Now, if you see, if you take moment at point B, then the forces involved is NA, the F, the P, and the weight. So, obviously, we have the NA, we have the F. We'll just solve the value of P. Okay? So, yan. Kunin ko lang tong variable X and Y. Uh, we have the length naman of the ladder, no? So, the length of the ladder there. Uh, okay. So, the... Kunin ko muna yung X. X is equals 10 meters cosine of 30 degrees. Okay? May angle between the ladder and the horizontal tayo dyan. Uh, this is the value of x. Then the y is obviously 10 meters. Then sine of 30 degrees. Okay? Now, um, let's take summation of moment at B. Huwag natin yung gamitin yung forces x para mas mabilis. Summation of moment at B equal to 0. Okay? And let's say a uh, positive uh, counterclockwise. Alright? Positive counterclockwise. Now, uh, yung P and F is uh, same lang naman. So, pwede natin siyang i-combine. No? P plus F. So, basically, minimum yung gagawin ko dito, plus F. Yung moment arm niya at, at point B, that's the Y. No? Moment arm natin dyan is Y. Gets ba? Na yung NA, our NA here is clockwise. Turning clockwise at point B. Okay, so that's negative. We take that as negative. NA, the moment arm of NA to point B is X. Okay, the other one, the last one is the W. The W will cause counterclockwise about B. Okay, the moment arm of W, that will act to the center of X. Okay, that will act to the center of X. So, this is X over 2. Alright? 
So I'll just erase that one. You can just uh, uh by the way that's positive no kasi counterclockwise w times uh half of x or x over 2. There are no other force that will tend to rotate at point B equal to 0. Okay? Now we can now calculate the minimum required P. This one. So uh, just simplify. My is better. Our P minimum is equal to. Pwede nyo na yung i-shift so. That's 365. The answer is 365.737. Okay? 